Hey again YouTube. Hey, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Well today I just wanted to talk about uh, a wild hare I got uh, not too long ago and I decided I wanted to try cutting up uh, my own meat out of the larger cuts like the, the chuck roll and uh, a, a full brisket and uh, so in order to do that obviously the first thing I'm going to need is a decent set of knives uh, but being this is kind of a new thing I didn't know if I was going to keep on doing it. Uh, I didn't, really didn't want to get too invested in a good set of knives so I spent some time on the internet uh, trying to find a, a decent set of, of bargain knives let's say or uh, uh, well yeah I guess bargain <laughs> knives and uh, so anyway today I want to share what I ended up with for just under 50 bucks for a set of four knives um, and I think for the quality I'm quite tickled actually so uh, uh, we'll go in and have a look and uh, uh, let's get to it so this is a set of knives I've uh, picked up and I have to give a caveat to start off with, and that being I know absolutely nothing about knives. So everything we talk about today, you're going to have to take at face value. And now according to the, the listing in Amazon, these are supposed to be hand forged. Uh, yes or no, I can't say. I'm just going by what's, uh, what's on the listing, obviously. Uh, they came packaged quite well. It was a, a good solid cardboard box and uh, you'll see in a sec that they're packaged in a, a very dense uh, foam. The box was very solid. Uh, there was absolutely no damage to the knives at all. Uh, everything was nice and tight and I was pleasantly surprised with the, the machining grease that was on the knives. So they were well oiled with no signs of corrosion at all. The inside lid of the box had some description like the warranty and quite honestly I threw the box out so what you're looking at is what I have as well so <laughs> I hope when this is done I'll be able to read it. So we're starting with the boning knife and I have to say at first glance I am very impressed with these knives. They've got a, a very good heft to them and uh, the blade is, is quite stiff. It's a good heavy steel blade. The tang runs all the way through the handle. Um, they've got a really nice edge on them. Uh, they are extremely sharp. They was uh, I've I've never actually had a decent set of knives, and I have to say they were a little intimidating at first uh, because they they really are a substantial knife. The handles have a, a very nice feel to them. They're uh, just uh, they seem well balanced. I'm quite happy. So the next one we're looking at is the breaking knife and I gotta tell you this is a bit of a beast. It is a, a <laughs> I thought the last one was substantial. This is a knife. It uh, actually feels more like a bowie knife than a, a boning knife but uh, it, it functions very well. Uh, again it's well balanced. It's got uh, a good weight to it. Nice heavy steel. Very sharp and uh, Again, just a nice blade. And the next one we're looking at is the cleaver. And man, let me tell you, this sucker will cleave. It's going to separate meat like no one's business. Uh, again, a nice substantial weight to it. Uh, extremely sharp. Uh, I really like the curve. It uh, makes rolling in your cuts very, very easy. Uh, yeah, I really like it. And again, you can see a nice coat of oil on these blades. Uh, they were well packed and no, no chance of corrosion at all. And next we have the Serbian Chef's Knife. And this is actually a, a very nice knife for uh, cutting vegetables, um, uh, whatever you need to slice up. It handles very nicely. It's surprisingly light. It's got the smaller blade, but it's got a, a nice big curve on it. I guess that's the Serbian style. And uh, it is actually very nice for cutting up vegetables and uh, anything you need to cut, cut up smaller pieces of meat. That nice curved blade is, uh, is really nice. Much better than I expected it to be. And it's sharp enough that you don't actually even have to slice if you don't want to. You can just rock the blade through whatever you're cutting and it'll just whip right through it. So now measuring the knives, the uh, Serbian knife, it's about 12 inches long with a 6 inch blade. The cleaver 
It's about 13 and a half inches long and has an 8 inch blade. The breaking knife is roughly 12 and a half inches long with about a 7 and a half inch blade. And finally the boning knife. It comes in at about 12 inches long overall with about a 6 and a half inch blade. So that's the full set, all four knives, and uh, uh, they have very nice weight to them. They're very solid. They have a nice stiff blade. They're extremely sharp, and I think they've got a really nice look to them. So keeping the price point in mind, there are a couple little issues, and the one being that the, the handle is not quite big enough to cover the tang. So there's just a little bit of uh, metal sticking out above and below the handle. And the other thing is that uh, a couple of the handles are a little bit loose. And uh, I am going to contact the manufacturer about that, if nothing else, just to let them know, uh, make sure they're aware of the, the problem. Uh, but at the price point, I don't really see it being a big issue. I'm just going to let it slide. Now, when it comes to using them, uh, they're very comfortable in the hand. They're very well balanced. They just, they feel good. Uh, and they are so sharp. I've never actually handled a knife that is uh, this sharp before. And uh, they made trimming this brisket so easy. There was just nothing to it at all. Uh, they just whip right through the meat and fat. I used the boning knife to trim most of the fat off. And then when it got to uh, cutting up the bigger piece of meat for hamburger, uh, to cube it so I could run it through the grinder, I picked up the breaking knife. And man, it just cut through that meat just <laughs> like a hot knife through butter. It's just absolutely amazing. And what surprised me is it was sharp enough that uh, you could just roll the knife through the meat and it would cut it. You didn't even have to slice it. You could just uh, drop the knife down through and it would cut it like nothing. Considering the price point, I would have to recommend these knives. I think they're, they're pretty good for the cost. Uh, there are a couple little issues like we talked about, but uh, overall they do a great job, especially if you're just starting out and don't want to go crazy spending money. These are a good way to get started. So there will be a link in the description, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Have a great day.